Hi, my name's Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery Sport. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Sport 2 litre TD4 HSE automatic. 2015 on a 65 plate. Has done 67,208 miles. Two registered owners from new. Fuel economy, urban, 44.8 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 60.1 miles per gallon and combined is 53.3 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 8.4 seconds, a top speed of 117 miles per hour out of a four cylinder, 178 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Beautiful car, just driven up here to uh, well, city of Lancaster, um, up the motorway, drives lovely. It's a really, really nice clean car, beautiful color combination and, and all the accessories you you need really a uh, lovely pan roof as well uh, color combination fuji white and i think it's ivory uh, grained leather uh, but it, as, as i say i'll, I'll show you inside in a, a little, in, in a short while so we've got uh, the daytime running lights front parking sensors high pressure headlamp wash so we've got the multi-spoke alloys it's got a matching set of goodyear wranglers all round, always a good sign that somebody's got premium tyres on. Um, the imitation vent in the front wing, the wheel arch protectors, the, the wing protectors there. And uh, one of the things I've never noticed before is that this, this panel in the bonnet, it has airbag written on the back. Anyway, I looked it up on the internet last night. And if you're unfortunate enough to hit a pedestrian and they fly up the bonnet, Airbags shoot out of here and basically cover the windscreen. Stop them going through the windscreen. Um, and I'm assuming stop them going through the windscreen and hitting you and your, your passenger. So uh, <laughs> good design all around there. Gloss black roof, the full panoramic sunroof there, the glass pan roof. You've got the black here, protector for the sills too. It's as long as you've got the keys on you, uh, keyless entry, and come back to the car, just open the door like so. So power folding door mirrors as well. And the, the, the black all around the windows here, um, real nice, it's, it's a good contrast and, and absolutely uh, lovely. Power open, power close, uh, tailgate, I'm not going to show you the six and seven seats, but I did take some photos and a, and a video of it before I set out and got all my camera gear in the back. Um, they're easy to um, deploy and easy to put away again. Um, just basically, just a little strap pulls it up and you, you pull the uh, headrest up. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a great design. We've also got here the rear roller blind. You just have to be careful they don't catch on the inertia reel belts at the back. Nice, reasonably low level um, access for pets or anything, and easy to load into. No lip to lift any uh, suitcases or, or whatever you're carrying over the, over the back there. Rear parking sensors, as I say, power open, power close boot. You've got reversing camera just in there. The rear tailgate spoiler again in uh, in black and the uh, twin exhaust nice seats high backs headrest out of the way not sticking in your back uh, sculpted and uh, perforated leather I believe these are called stadium seats so you're sitting higher than the the, the front uh, driver and passenger and you can see over them lovely environment nice glass uh, panel above you here and uh, it's it's so nice real safe car airbags in the b pillar and the, the c pillar there and even in the d pillar and um, i've got my seat quite a way forward there um, but in, enough leg room and i think you can also oh perhaps no could have sworn you could yeah you, you can you can move 
the seat forward to make room, of, of course, for your, the passengers in the back there. Hey, none of that in my videos. I'll just take you for a ride. Two keys there. Got, got an audience again. There we go. So uh, it's keyless go as well. As long as you've got the keys on you, uh, you can get in and out of the car just using your thumb or pull in the door handle and um, foot on the brake and click start or press start and that, that's it, you're away. Um, service history on this car. So 27th of the 2nd, 2018 at 23,735 miles. Inch Cape Land Rover Chester. 2nd of the 7th, 2020 at 56,941 miles. Inch Cape Land Rover Chester. And on the 11th of the 8th, 2020, at 57,888 miles, the uh, rear distant pads were done, at, again, at Inchcape Land Rover Chester. So that's the service history. Um, and uh, I'll just take you for a ride in it and put them in there. Jam them in. So the... The inside of this car is uh, is absolutely lovely, and the the pan roof finishes the the vehicles off in in my view anyway. It make, makes them a completely different uh, entity inside, really. Um, a whole lot lighter, as you would imagine. <laughs> Dirt Baz, thanks for that. <laughs> thanks for your insight. <laughs> I would never have guessed. Um. But I, I have to say that the more discoveries we get in, the more I like them. I, I, the other, the previous discovery was was nice, um, but the new one, um, especially the sport for me, as I always <clears throat> say, I I like Range Rover sports, but uh, I've got to say that um, driving up and and, and using these Discovery Sports, although it's a two litre engine, uh, for me, uh, the, the, the amount I, the amount of um, driving, especially motorway driving and long distance driving I do, these days is, is kind of negligible. And the two litre, the, the, the torque range and, and the gearbox changes and so on, just seems ideal for my commute to work these days and and on this uh, on, on these roads it's quite a big vehicle and yet the the engines easily powerful enough and as I say the the, the the torque and the gear changes seem to be matched better to uh, my commute than perhaps even the three litre and I, I notice what, when you're setting off with a three litre, sometimes it's, it's a little bit harsh, especially if you just come into a junction and it slows down and changes down and then you, there's a gap in the traffic and you accelerate. This, the, the two litre seems to take that up, in my opinion, um, quite a lot smoother. This, uh, the, the thing that would sway me on this vehicle is, even though we're, we're not, in basically British summer now. It's got a heated steering wheel and they they are just awesome. Here you go, there's a heated steering wheel. You've got heated seats here. The the left and right there. And it's got three position memory seats, driver and passenger. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. That is manual. I was just looking for the electric switch there, but it is manual. seven seats which means I can get all my friends in and still have room for six people um, but the the backs the back seats fold completely flat really easy to deploy 
and uh, if you need you put the other seats down then you've got a massive cargo space just uh, got lumbar support there as well which is very good and there we go electric seats got drive and sport here you've got paddle shifts on the steering wheel but you very seldom that you you would even need to use them the, the gearbox and engine combination so good it, it can change gear better than you can The steering wheel is, is toasty. If it ever gets too hot in the vehicle, the sun's beating down on your, your head, you can always... Now, I'll just show you what I mean about the difference between having a, a full roof and a, a pan roof. Just as we go under all the trees and can't make any difference. So that's, yeah, great. Another great example there. So that, that's it with the, the roof. You'd be able to sell more if I was sat in the back because then it, you do get quite claustrophobic. But um, just watching somebody's. Uh, birthday balloon float into the country and no doubt choking an animal. Early start for me today. We're uh, very, very busy. <laughs> five o'clock start to come out here and, and get this uh, vehicle videoed and photographed. We've got um, another discovery, a 2.2 to do in blue metallic, an evoke in phoenix orange or whatever if it's a different colour, slightly different colour than the discovery we had last week but it's an orange metallic and we've also got a grey metallic although we've had lots of phone calls on that already so whether I'll actually get a chance to um, video that is uh, is another thing but we'll see got a Astra GTC Coupe a Renault Capture an Audi A3 um, a Jeep Renegade all new into stock all need photographing and videos there's just not enough hours in the day oh and then, then we've got um, we've got some vans as well that need photographing and videoing so busy uh, well be a busy week next week so back to the car anyway there you go power folding door mirrors got sat nav Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Gonna go this way today. Cruise control, nice and easy Land Rover cruise control. And I, I do really like the setup in this vehicle nice and simple these days of course they, they have to have stop start no doubt but there's the, the button to switch it off it's got lane departure warning which um, <laughs> if, if you need lane departure warning then you shouldn't be on the road you shouldn't be driving you're not fit
climate control. I'm not sure whether I've pointed out the heated seats there, but we've also got heated front screen as well, which is uh, fantastic in the in the winter. Aluminium trim up the side of the gear tunnel here and round the gear selector, which is the rotary one, which I, I really like. And the nice contrast stitching, contrast leather in the door panels, the grey leather. Very nice to drive. All my camera equipment in the back uh, vibrating and rattling and hopefully you won't be able to hear it. Actually, I'm just going to try hill descent here. I think that's the button. So hill descent on. Right, so I've not got my foot on the accelerator or the brake and the car is just going down on its own. Braking. There's nothing behind me, nothing in front. Fortunately, I am tempted to go over there. Um, th this car is fantastic off-road. Got a, a brilliant uh, ground clearance, which I can't remember what it is at the moment, but it's also got a 600 millimeter wading depth. There you go, see, just, just pulling, pulling everything back as we're going round. And there you go, just just letting me go now. So that's that's really really good if you're uh, if you are off roading and I have been off roading in uh, four wheel drives. You wouldn't believe the angles that they can get to, and the and the the access angle or, or the angle of attack or and departure that you can actually get up without stuffing the front of your car in or or catching the back. There's your terrain response. I, m I must try and find, but having said that, I'd probably only be able to do it once. I was gonna say, I must try and find a, um, an off-road track that I can do these four-wheel drives on but I'd only be able to do one and then Lance would kill me because <laughs> this this car has been clean and it's it's lovely beautiful car drives lovely um, I think I'll probably start using this now it's uh, it, it's it's great so it's, it's a lovely lovely vehicle um, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video